किससे turned into months and months turned into seasons and Ubadu became a great person that was when he took delight in the affairs of women it's when also domino as i think it's one of the jb star or ban one of my mommy who's me jimmy mommy
adding when you might be doing a chair. I'll make up one of these here. Go me one done. One done is it? I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah, then so I would die the wood there. No, 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 Oh, last one, but your descendants shall suffer. Oh. You shall have one more life to live. Oh. But when you die, your descendants will curse you in your grave. Oh. You shall know no peace. Oh. Oh. Now, leave this land. And never set your eyes on this statue. For the day you do, you shall die. And the day any human sets his or her eyes on this statue, shall turn into the same statue. The God has spoken. So shall it be. Unfortunately, we are a woman. is a descendant of Ubadu. And she has been chosen to pay the price of the sins of her ancestor. Oh, wise man, please, can you do anything about this? One person outside the family of the sick person must be sacrificed to bear the mark of the curse on the family for eternity. Or oh, the grave of the ancestor must be located and his soul to be relieved from Hades to bear the mark of his own case. And that is a lot of money to travel through the psychic world on your behalf. Please, how much are we talking about here? Don't worry about the money. When you are able to do this, you become the first medical doctor to cure this type of epilepsy. And you rise to the status of a specialist. That is how most of the specialists in the field of medicine attain their status as specialists. I will do this. Um, I, I, I cannot offer human sacrifice, but I, I can provide the money for you to help me travel through the psychic world. You have to do this.
long has Papa been like this? Since you brought calamity into this family, ever since you decided to marry that girl, do you know what happened? Your father went to the bush, saw an antelope. The moment he aimed at it, the antelope disappeared. Ever since then, he has not been able to be on his feet. The worst of it all, the worst of it all. I asked your sister to fill the pot in the kitchen with water. Guess what? The moment she poured the water in the pot, a snake from nowhere. A snake from nowhere came and bites her. Now your sister is bitten by a mysterious snake. I asked the medicine man to come and check up on them. Only for me to be told that my beloved son, my son is getting married to a taboo. Oh, Prancy. But, mother. Prancy. Do you have to believe in all these things? Um, by the way, where's Adobia? Adobia! 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 Ah, let's see. Adobia? Hey. How is your leg? Oh the swellingness is down. But the pain is too much. Don't worry, okay? I'm going to prescribe some medicines for you. You'll be fine, okay? Mm. Um, I want to discuss something. Is it about a taboo you have brought to us? Oh, Adobe, I don't see to your father. God, where did I go wrong? Oh. Um, mother, in the, in the case of Oye, some people are helping me to cure her. And trust me, she will be fine very soon. <sighs> but we can't say this is the cause of Papa's illness. Neither can we say it's the cause of the snake bite. I, I mean, we are surrounded by bushes and it's just possible for snakes to be around. Just look at you. How stupid of you! Very stupid boy! <sighs> Jack that I would have you on your crow. Brandon, oh, don't see. Oh, don't you, Thomas? Brandon, if you are putting on this behavior, eh? And I die. Don't you dare stay foot at my funeral. Brandon, don't you dare. But, Mother, it hasn't got into this. Mother, you should stand by me. I will let you see me! Never! Counting. Wow, oh, who am I seeing? Come on! <laughs> I miss you! Sandy! Yes, dear. You're looking very beautiful. Thank you. Where have you been? You. Oh, come on. I left the country right after our service. I got back some few days ago. Wow. And oh. what's wrong with your car? Oh, just, just a normal overheating. You know, I had a very long journey from the village. Oh, sorry about that. You can join my car so we get a mechanic to fix it. No, no, no. That's not a problem. It's just a normal overheating. I'm sure once it comes down, to continue my journey. That's fine. <laughs> so who is this lucky girl taking care of my crash? 
<laughs> See, Sandy, I'm reporting you to your husband. Oh, come on. Don't tell me after all these years you're still crashing on me. Of course, yes, Canton. Sandy, of course. You never change. No, I can't. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let me have your number. I will call you later in the evening. So we have a dinner okay, together. Okay, 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 sure, sure, sure. Uh, zero, two, four. Uh, okay, here you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so let me call you so you can have my number. Uh, the phone is in the car, but don't worry, I'll save your number. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi, take care. Take care very soon. So I'll see you soon much. again. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy. Yes, yeah. Just take care of yourself. All right. I'll talk to you, you soon. Check that part. Okay, I will. <laughs> hey, bye bye. Hey, <laughs> Sandy. <laughs> Violently this time. I embarrassed Quentin. I tore off his shirt. That is really bad. But thank God Quentin is still with you. Wow. For how long will I continue to embarrass an innocent man? Ever since I decided to marry him, this thing has been happening constantly. I'm going to end the relationship. I cannot be with him. Anymore. I'm going to quit. I can't marry him like this. I don't want to be with him anymore. I won't marry him. Oh yeah. Andy, I love him. Can you please help me talk to Cranston? You have him, okay? And you have my backing as well. Trust me. Really? Yeah. Wow, thank you very much. I'm so grateful. You know, I'll do anything for you guys, okay? Anything you want, okay? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. She's gone. <laughs> Brother, see, I feel your pain, okay? But the solution is here. Look at how in a bad time like this, God sent Sandy back into your life. Let Oye go. Yes, look at how you're feeling. Look at her. I believe her situation was not this bad until you came back into her life. Huh? See, this battle is not a battle of our generation, no? It's not. Remember your family. They need you. Okay? Break up with a little go. You cannot waste your time and resources fighting a battle that someone's forefathers refused to fight. Eh? Oh, yeah. 
please don't make things difficult for me when I tell you it's over. <laughs> because deep down my heart, I, I still love you. <laughs> I can't do this. I'll fight for you to be right. Yes. We'll fight with you. I'll fight with you to the end. I'll fight. <laughs> Kisses <laughs> Please, I'm here to show you my commitment and readiness to go through the spiritual process. <sighs> Even before you came, I made a spiritual projection for you deeper into the spiritual realms. And I found something unusual about your aura. You were surrounded by mighty evil beings. But a strange being from nowhere came and carried you away into safety. But the sad thing is that I saw you coming back, coming back to these evil beings. And that is how it ended. I still don't understand this. But with this money, I will make a deeper astral projection and travel higher to find out what is in need for you. Thank you very much, wise man. Um, but please, this is just half payment. Um, I will bring the balance as soon as I receive my salary at the end of the month. Even before you make any payment, I work for you. You shall be a great man. I 
candy. I know what you are looking for. It's not there. I took it. But hey, I promise to return before the end of the month. Quanta, why did you do that? Ah, you are getting out of hand. See, we've known each other for so long. I don't want anything to come in between us. This is the money I save to pay the rent for my shop. Well, if you say at the end of the month, I'll wait. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You are really a true brother. See, I needed the money to settle something urgent. But you should have told me. I'm sorry, now it's not happening again, okay? It's not happening again. Hello? Martin. Your mother. Oh. Hello? Ma. Papa! What about Papa? Grant, what about Papa? The old man is gone. I couldn't send them money for his drugs. Kisses Grandma, <laughs> Uh, in fact, thank you very much for coming. You're welcome. Uh, you know, this is a very critical moment in my life. But when I see people like you, it gives me some kind of relief. Come on, Gratin. What are friends for? So you let me know of the funeral arrangement and I promise you of my support. Okay? Alright, brother. So I'll take my leave. Okay, okay. <laughs> Strong. Take care of yourself. Okay, see you soon. Alright. Bye. Hello, Ma. My son. How can you do this to me? Oh, Ma, please forgive me. How can you abandon me in time like this? Continue, I don't have anyone in this village, eh? You are the only person I have now. Yes! Everybody was acting off you. I didn't even know what to tell them. Oh. Oh. Anyway, thank you very much for the money you sent me. Yeah, you sent money through your girlfriend's... Uh, Who? Your other girlfriend, Sandy, for your father's one-week observation, right? When? When they saw the money, they were okay. Okay, it's all right. You are welcome, you are welcome. Um, don't worry, I'll be there before the funeral. Okay, okay, please do take very good care of yourself. Quentin, where have you been? You said it would be an embarrassment for you to take me to the funeral. 
I understood you. But why the silence? Have you been busy after the funeral? Can I understand? Ah. Is this not quanting? What are you saying? I gathered here for the sake of my late father, but it's time to put the mysterious past behind me and move on in life. Yeah. Uh, it's finally over between Oye and myself. Yes, it's over. My mind is made up now, and my heart is ready to settle down with Sandy. That's what I'm talking about. You see, I'm very glad that you have chosen to settle down with my sister at long last. You see, you have been her crush since childhood, and living her life in abroad never changed her feelings for you. In fact, you are the man. <laughs> <laughs> and, and. I'm sure the old man will be smiling in his grave by now. Oh, yeah. 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 May he so rest in peace. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Shall we make a toast? Oh, yes. A toast to long life, mm -hmm. good health, mm -hmm. protection, mm -hmm. more money, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. good family, mm -hmm. and good sex. <laughs> <laughs> can never change. Oh, yes, I can never change. Sex is good. Come <laughs> on. Um, so, uh, oh, Andy, you so what? <laughs> I'll be home late today. Okay, um, how much? 10,000 cities. Okay, be good. It's five, it's five. Okay, uh, okay. <laughs> Take good care of yourself. And you. Yes. I'm home. I thought you needed money in two weeks time, sir. I didn't know you needed it just tomorrow. I'm sorry, sir. I'll be in first thing tomorrow morning. I'll be in the office by 7 a.m., sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. She's gone. 
sure you eat. Hey, yes, yes. How are you doing? Um, I'm good, yourself? Um, fine by the grace. And how is Quentin? I've been trying to reach him, but no avail. You mean, uh, it is the reason I'm here. I was thinking he's here. Nah. He sent me a text saying he's traveling and I shouldn't bother checking up on him. So I thought he was with you and you two were playing those love games with me. Hey. No. Gosh. Andy, I've been duped. What? I've been duped. Hey. Sandy. Sandy. Oh, okay. What's going on? Why is grandma so furious? See, I need to talk to Oye, okay? I, I have the money now. I have the money to treat Oye and we can travel far away. Kranti, you broke your promise to my sister. And now Oye is no more. What do you mean by Oye is no more? She was locked down by a vehicle a few days after you abandoned her. And she died instantly. No. No. What, what do you mean? How? Where? I, I, mean, I mean, how? She was buried at a hill. Because of the curse. Of the hills. The one close to the river. 